In this third tutorial on if statements, we're going to have a look at um, how to combine if statements together. Now, I've got two variables that I've already uh, created. I've got scared to fry and miles to travel. Okay, so if someone is scared to uh, fly, we can set that to be true. If they're not, we can set it to false. Uh, notice that true and false have a capital uh, letter. This actually is important uh, and um, uh, it's basically how Python knows you are trying to um, say true or false rather than um, have variable names. And then I've got miles to travel and this is how far um, you know, the person's got to travel. So what I want to do is basically try and decide what the best mode of transport is for them. Now if they're not scared to fly and obviously also uh, they've got a large distance to travel let's say over 500 miles then the best way uh, for them to travel is probably going to be by plane so there's two things we need to combine here so first of all let's look at miles to travel is greater than 500 but I also want to say if they're uh, scared to fly so or not scared to fly and I can link these together using the AND keyword like this now if that's that that will work so I can go um, print uh, you should go by plane now that's that should work if I execute it see it goes by plane if I am scared to fly you can put true there uh, and it will stop it from running the AND keyword, which links the two conditions together, basically says both of these conditions must be true in order for the whole thing to be true. If I put OR in there, then it would say I should go by plane, because only one of them has to be true for it to uh, work. Now, AND OR are two ways of linking um, conditions together. So let's look at um, a, a third one, which is not. So this actually isn't particularly very nice uh, code to look at. I can improve this by just simply getting rid of the double equals. Now, because it's true and false, because uh, it can evaluate a true and false, um, oh, sorry, the condition should uh, evaluate true and false, because um, it is true at the moment, it, it will be fine, as you can see. It says that if I set this to false, see it doesn't print out. But obviously, if scared to fly is false, then that's that's what it should be. So I need to basically invert the scared to fly. You know, to say, well, if they're not scared to fly, then that's okay. But if they are scared to fly, then it's not. So to invert, we use the word not and there we go so we looked at two logical connectors not will invert the nearest condition uh, which evaluates true and false in this case scared to fly so false becomes true true becomes false and and will uh, basically link two uh, conditions together and basically say both of them must be true in order for the whole thing to be true so let's look at a different example. Let's look at a validation example. So let's look at age. So let's uh, just get some age in, uh, as we've done before. So raw inputs, enter your age. And what we're going to do is show how to do validation on this, a very simple uh, range check. So really, age can't be any less than zero, and it can't be any bigger than, let's say, 120. So, I could do this. If age is less than zero, print error. Uh, if age is greater than 120, print error. I could do it like that. But I can combine these two uh, together. 
So I could say, or age is greater than 20. So if the age is less than zero, then it's going to print an error out. If the age is greater than 120, it's going to print an error out. If it's any number in between, it, it, it won't be fine. I could do this the opposite way around by reversing it. And say OK. Or age OK. So if age is greater than 0 and is also less than 120, both of those things will have to be true and that will be accepted. So you can do validation in both those ways doing a, a range check. You can say um, you, know, you can do something if it's not OK or you can do something if it is OK. And obviously if I want to I can put an else in there like this and if I run this code now if I enter age of 76 it's happy. If I enter age of minus 12 not okay. Into age of hundred or thousand, not okay. Uh, and actually, it uh, will pick those up by linking together uh, conditions using and or, and by inverting uh, conditions using not. We can um, make our if statements a lot more expressive.